Hey, 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 what up, collectors? Or should I say, que pasa? Que paso? Uh, Diego here from Sports Cards Detour. And if you are familiar with that, um, que pasa, que paso, that you know, uh, hidden gems. And if you don't, you're going to have to check out his channel. Check out the link down below. Basically, this is a video response. He asked to see uh, five guys that you collect, whether in any sport or any, uh, just five. He just wants to know. What you, who you collect and uh my collection is few guys but then it's also um uh, team players so we'll go we'll go from there um but anyway he's uh, celebrating having 400 subscribers which he calls fans uh 400 fans at the gym palace stadium and uh you're he's a great guy so i i want to support him but i also do not i i want to enter this disclaimer that I do not want to be in the giveaway itself. I just want to show my support and show my support and give um, make a response video for him. So I'm going to flip the camera around and start showing you what I collect. Okay guys, excuse the little mess that I have here, but uh, I've been cleaning up the man cave. I, I showed the video of me of what it looks like right now. Um, but I still didn't put back stuff on my table to uh, make a video place for it. But anyway, um, we'll start off with uh, the the thing, the person I collect the most. Um, I don't want to say that I'm known for it or anything like that. But the one guy that I I talk about the most that I consider I put everything into a super collection for is Ryan Sandberg. Ryan Sandberg's my hero, and uh, he was a guy that um, when I was playing baseball, I had a rep, it was referred to me as Ryan Sandberg. I had the satellite dish in my backyard that we used to be able to watch uh, WGN and watch his baseball games. Like I had split sessions in school, so I was able to catch some uh, Cubs games after school. And it was, Ryan Sandberg just became my guy. Um, and this is why. Uh, I collect Ryan Sandberg. So here's a few of Ryan Sandberg's examples that I have for you guys to enjoy. So that is my my guy right there. Probably my number one PC guy. Um, the guy I look for the most in any collection. And sometimes I get the most because uh, people will send me cards of Ryan Sandberg. And this is my card number 600 of my unique cards. There's a TTM. And I'll even collect them on packs and in candy bar form if I can. And then I have this card here. This was given to me by a friend, so very special to me. Uh, I'm going to clear this up and go for the next um, our collection number two. Okay, who I collect the. Um, I. I I have Ryan Howard in the back, but it's not just Ryan Howard that I collect as far as Phillies players are concerned. I recently started a binder that has my favorite Phillies on there. And we can have in this binder, you'll find guys like Cole Hamels. Of course, Cole Hamels helped bring in the World Series. So he's got to be in there along with Jimmy Rollins. But yeah, my favorite guy on that team was definitely Ryan Howard. So, Ryan Howard's featured a lot more than any other player in the Phillies, in my favorite Phillies binder. Uh, Chase Utley will also be in that binder, you know, because they're the core three or the, our, uh, well, our core four would be Hamels, Chase Utley, Jimmy Rollins, and Ryan Howard. And those guys paved the way for a championship run. And a couple playoff runs, too, so it makes it awesome. A guy that uh, I liked, but he ended up leaving the team, was Scott Rowland. A lot of people like Scott Rowland, a lot of fans. He had a lot of fans. And here's an era card that has, says Pat Burrow, but that's uh, Scott Rowland right there. And then today, in today's game, uh, because he signed such a long contract, and uh, I 
kind of, I dig the way he plays. I just hate that he gets hurt is Bryce Harper. So that's what you'll see in that binder behind you. And that is probably the, my second, um, well, it's a, the second most, uh, the second most focused collection in, that I have going. So we'll go on to the third. So my third thing that I co that I collect is hockey goalies, like hockey goalies. I ever since I got a few hockey cards, I dig them. I love the face masks. I love the characters. The, like some of them have such cool face masks. Uh, and then you know they have they're the last line of defense. They got the pads. They got you know they just the padded up dude that's willing to stop a shot. They're the crazy guy who sits in goal and. Uh, I definitely like collecting them. I just started this Franken set, which is basically um, cards that are in numerical order, but it can be from different uh, sets and brands. So I started this Franken set, and uh, just goalie cards are probably the third thing that I look for if I was to go to a card show or a um, card show or flea market, whatever. It's the thing that I look for uh, the most, aside from Ryan Sandberg and Philly cards. All right, the fourth most focused on uh, collection is my Will Myers collection. Will Myers? Why Will Myers? Well, uh, at first I didn't know, but Will Myers is a pretty solid player. Um... He never amounted to be like a great player, but he is a solid player. Um, he could play like every position. He started out as a catcher, and he's played every position, um, and he plays it pretty well, well enough to help his team out. He's there, and he could. He's not um, like for the Padres right now. The focus is on Tatis and Machado. So that took off some and Hosmer, and that takes off the pressure from Myers. And he's he's won a, a few of those games for the Padres this year, and I've been collecting them for a while because I did think he was going to be a superstar. And um, when he was with the Tampa Bay Rays and Kansas City Royals, um, I was like, oh man, this kid is going to be something special. He'll probably be like um, up there with the generational talents like Trout and um, Bryce Harper. But it didn't come to pass. But he's still a solid player, and I I, I do like him. And it's, it's fun to collect him because a lot of his cards are not um, high-dollar you know, cards, but you do get some really nice cards with Will Myers because at one, at one point or another, he was a big focus on the team. Like, for the Padres for a while, he was the main guy of the team. And then, uh, you know, and now that there's other players in front of him, it just makes his cards easier to get for me, <laughs> you know, because everybody wants Tatis. So this is my four guy, uh, collect, uh, in my collection, the guys I collect, Will Myers will be a PC guy. So number five is I really don't have them in a binder. Like, I have a small binder of Jerome Bettis cards, but I don't have a lot of them. And Jerome Bettis is probably the number five guy um, right now. I ended up changing changing gears, and I kind of started going with Jerome Bettis as one of my PC guys for football. Um, Jerome Bettis used to just go into the group uh, with all the Steelers cards. And uh, I decided that I wanted, or lately I decided that I wanted to pull out all the Jerome Bettis cards um, from my my binders and make one binder, but I haven't finished it yet. So I can't put that up there. But Jerome Bettis is one of the guys that I PC uh, now, or that will have the number five focus. And uh, that's one of the reasons why I got to take a picture with him. That was cool. That was a good time. We went to three uh, Heinz Field and uh, went for the opening uh, game there. Um, so that was a good time. We had a lot of fun at the football game. And then we got to see Jerome Bettis. And that was even all. Uh, he was a great guy. So that just excelled even uh, excelled him to the uh, 
got to collect them status, you know. Um, but again, I, I collect more baseball than any other sport. So it makes it like I'm usually buying baseball first. Like my mentality is just baseball first. Um, and football kind of when it comes, it comes, you know. So that's why my I think this is probably the smallest of my collections. But lately it's been a focus. Okay, guys. So that was the top five that I'm focused on now. But there was PCs that I'm still focused on. Um, but I haven't been giving them much love. And uh, one of them is the Mike Trout PC. Uh, Mike Trout... I don't know. I, I think it's because everybody's collecting Mike Trout and his cards just are so hard to get anymore. And it's just, it's, it's not as fun as finding Ryan Sandberg's and, and, uh, my favorite Phillies and Will Myers, like, because they're more affordable to me. Um, I'm able to get nicer, some nicer cards, but Mike Trout, I'm never going to get his auto. Uh, like I'm never gonna get anything from for him like that. So uh, I just just he's the local guy though. So uh, if I do see his card, it's not like I don't keep it and I put it into the uh, into my collection. But and uh, if I find a cheap card, then I will buy it because you know Mike Trout is local to me. He's from New Jersey, Southern New Jersey, which is where I'm from, and you know. You just want to collect them because you know he's the guy from just around the corner type thing. So there's a few things that I collect from Mike Trout. And he'll be number six on the focus meter. Maybe he's fallen to number seven. But uh, I'll put him number six for now because I just happened to buy a few more um, Mike Trout cards. Another guy that I, I collect is uh, Roberto Clemente. I wouldn't say the focus on him is quite as strong as the focus on a lot of other players. Um, but when I do see a nice card of his, I'll pick it up or uh, I'll, I'll trade for a few cards here and there. Roberto Clemente, as I say every time that, that I get and I do a video that shows Roberto Clemente, I say he reminds me of my dad because um, he's one, he looks like my dad when he was younger and also. Uh, He's just my dad's favorite player, so it's hard to not want to pick up some Roberto Clemente stuff when you see it. Um, I actually got a little plate and a little plaque and got um, some stamp pins that of Roberto Clemente. Um, it's not a main focus, but when I see a nice card, I'll pick it up and add it into this binder. But this binder also includes some... Uh, other type of players from the lineage, the heritage. Um, I am uh, Puerto Rican, so I, I have this thing for uh, Puerto Rican players, like certain Puerto Rican players. Um, Ivan Rodriguez is one of them. Pudge, I always like Pudge. But a lot of these guys that I, I collect are from either uh, the... World Baseball Classic Puerto Rican team that I believe finished in second place. And the Caribbean World Series super team. And guys that were on the Puerto Rican World Baseball Classic team was like um, Jose Barrios, Edwin, or sorry, Edwin Diaz, Yadier Molina, got a few of them. You have Francisco Lindor. Then we've got Carlos Correa. Javi Baez. Let me show a better Javi. There you go. Javi Baez. Then you got Carlos Beltran. Angel Pagan. And then we get into the guys that were on the super team um, for uh, the Caribbean World Series back in 1990. Man, I can't remember. The, I want to say 96. But basically, it was a super team. And this team um, had great stars on them. Actually, one, two, 
Two of them are Hall of Famers. Two of them are Hall of Famers. One guy beat out a Hall of Famer, which happens to be Carlos Delgado. And another player should be, and that's Juan Gonzalez. But uh, here's Carlos Delgado. Roberto Alomar was on the team. Then we had Ray Sanchez was on the team. Edgar Martinez. I have a few Edgar Martinez cards. Carlos Baerga. Mr. Saisa himself, Ruben Sierra. Bernie Williams. Oh, and I took... Oh, unfortunately, I took it out uh, Juan Gonzalez because I was thinking about making a, a PC of Juan Gonzalez, but I do have a card right here. I was starting to make a new binder for Juan Gonzalez because I have so many of his cards um, that... Uh, he wasn't fitting in here anymore. So here's Juan Gonzalez, who's the other representative of that team. And I also do not have um, Carmelo Martinez. Or Carmelo Martinez, I do not have on the team. One guy on the team that I found is Hector Culian. I found his uh, minor league card. He was also on that team. Then another guy that I liked was... Uh, Jose Cruz, Benito Santiago, you have uh, Javier Vasquez, Jorge Posada, who's by descent. Um, you have Javi Lopez, who's a great player, Jose Cruz Jr., Sandy Alomar, and uh, Thomas Nito, who's up at the top here, who's a catcher for the Mets uh, right now. I'm starting to, uh, what I'm going to start to do is probably focus on getting a lot of the players um, or Puerto Rican players and I'm going to try and get at least one card from each player that is from Puerto Rico, Puerto Rican descent or from Puerto Rico itself as part of my heritage uh, set there. All right, guys. So that is all I got from you. Uh, all I get, That is all I have for you today. Um, um, this was a long video for... Uh, a video response for hidden gems. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, guys. Peace out, collectors. Get back to work.